that's fine. The doors are closed. We, we won't see this. All right, let's fall. Uh, you know what? You're right. I like to have, because I'm an <laughs> anime nerd guy, I need the Japanese text. Because that's the one Otto actually directed. Pure as it. Plus, I want, you really need, there's a lot of voices going on here. Really That's when instrumentality ends. 
the origin of all souls is reversed. Um, it's one, yes, one twenty-two ten. But you can go a little before. A little before. And after all that, we got fans being mad, and this whole end of Evangelion being kind of a revamped version of that's good enough. A revamped version of uh, the television ending. The actual end of the movie is the exact same ending of, of the TV show. Some of these shots into Evangelion, nobody even knows. It's the other thing I kind of know. 
it was beautiful, and I'll accept it. So 
the girls, our main characters, go on a compensated date, date with this gentleman, who seems a very normal and nice man. Takes him out for karaoke and then does this. Okay, we have one more movie to go over. This one is kind of more in line with Anno's normal themes. It's called Shikijitsu. It's from the year 2000. Adaption of Ayoko uh, Fujitani's novel Toihiro. Uh, the screenplay is by Hideki Anno. It deals with the themes of fantasy versus reality in a lot of Anno's works. The main character is uh, a former animation director and he takes on an observational role in the film. Uh, in this film, uh, rituals serve as a way of comfort. Uh, also, the female character in the movie is also played by the novelist. Um, this scene is the first time that the character... Well, the, the character of the director experienced what the, what the girl does when it rains. We can see this with our main character is a quote director. We don't really know of what, but he's observing this weird girl that he came across who is obsessed with rituals, specifically every day that she says tomorrow is her birthday. Um, every day she goes up to the top of the roof and looks over. Um, but when it rains, this is the ritual that she does. It's because the, the rain reminds her kind of brings back a terrifying memory. Uh, and here we go, where Otto mixes reality and animation. <laughs> oh, God, this scene. And the animated character represents the girl's kind of inner self. <laughs> and the girl is trying to escape from that. The 
the noise and the, the, the fact that she's in an enclosed space. She's chanting that over and over again because her birthday is something that kind of, uh, a horrible event happened on her birthday. And if she constantly believes that tomorrow is her birthday, then her birthday will never come and something horrible will never happen again. Not in and the main the main problem is she just everyone she believes that everyone in her life has abandoned her. Uh, because her father went, ran off with a young girl, uh, leaving her uh, her mother and her sister and her son behind and then died. Uh, so she's kind of carried that with her, and in order to cope, she's also believed that her entire family has also died. <laughs> Instead of dealing with the emotions around them, she just said, well, my whole family is dead. Um, this is the end, where all these rituals and all these things comes to this peak, and the director steps out of the observational role. Um, this scene again, Anna loves these themes of dreams versus reality, what is reality.